Tuesday's budget. It's more than four years since the ANC's Nazareth conference and implementation of the economic resolutions taken has been far too slow, says Kosatu. The Trade Union Federation also unhappy with yesterday's budget. Its Central Executive Committee has discussed this and other matters at uh, their meeting. They've also spoken to the media. Our senior reporter, Sipa Mandla Gorge, Gorge, was there. He joins us. Hi, Sipa. So tell us exactly what Kosato had to say about their views on yesterday's budget. Well, they've welcomed that budget speech by Finance Minister Ino Kodongwane. They say it was a difficult balancing act for him. They understand the position that he is in and the country as well as the fiscals. But they say they expected more good news in terms of how the, this budget is going to assist, you know, the consumers and the working class. They say on the issue of uh, wage increases particularly, they were happy that at least the minister did not say there will be no wage increases for public servants, but they are of the view that yes, the economy is under pressure. However, they feel that the working class shouldn't pay the burden for what is happening in the country. They say government and the state as a whole need to do more to ensure that there is economic growth, that, you know, private sector must come on board to ensure that there is economic growth so that that will leave some sort of pressure from consumers and the working class. Let's take a listen to Kosa Tu's big in Charlie, Charlie explaining. In comparison or in consideration of the problems that we have, I think the budget doesn't help. Uh, the projection of 1.8% growth, which is, might be less than the the bed rate, the population rate, it just suggests that we're going to be in a deep hole for a very, very long time. So even those that might be seems to be a good gesture, like your petrol, pra, I mean, levy and all those things, is overwhelmed by the inability of our government to help with the state-owned enterprises, particularly ESCOM. I mean, we can do many, many things, but if we can't fix ESCOM and give it enough resources, it means our economy is being detained or arrested by the inability to supply with electricity. So, in short, the stimulus are falling very short, not addressing the state-owned enterprises, uh, suggested that the budget overall is not satisfactory. Kasato also weighing in on e-tolls. It's been such a thorny issue here in Gauteng, and we keep being told we're going to get a decision, but we've been hearing that, I think, for years now. What has Kasato said today about e-tolls? Very disappointed that there was nothing much mentioned during the budget speech, and that disappointment comes from the fact that Transport Minister Figilemba Lula from December to January, when he was busy with his department's engagements, has told the media that the issue of the e-tolls was going to be addressed by the finance minister when tabling his budget speech. But yesterday, there was nothing much, you know, in terms of saying what is the position. Figilemba Lula had told us earlier on that there is a position that has been taken, a decision has been taken, but it was going to be communicated by the National Treasurer because it's got to do with how do you then make sure that the money has that has been spent in the project is recouped. How do you deal with the issue of debt that would have been accumulated by undertaking that project of the ETOLs? We know that within the ANC Alliance partners there has been a lot of debate about this issue. Courts, if I'm not mistaken, Kosatu has been leading one of the longest boycotts in the country. They have been calling on South Africans to boycott ETOLs, and they are proud of that campaign. SACP has been criticizing the ANC-led government when it comes to the issue of the ETOLs. So here in Gauteng is an issue that has divided the Tripathat Alliance, and many people, including Kosatu, were hoping that at least Finance Minister was going to announce once and for all what is the decision that has been taken and what is the finality when it comes to the issue of the e-tolls. Kosatu is of you. They are of the view that the issue of the e-tolls will continue to be a political nightmare for the ANC and they say the governing ANC has not learned from what people have been saying that they do not want the e-tolls and they are disappointed that there was no commitment in that regard. Let's take a listen. It's when government is, is not decisive. 
how many times have we heard about uh, this matter is going to come to the conclusion? Many, many ministers, from the Buo Peters uh, to Blade to uh, the current ministers, been always the indication have been there that uh, some announcement needed to be made and they're shifting the ball from one minister to the other. I think the Minister of Transport's mind is made here is that he can't pronounce on these issues because it falls within the Treasury and I think the Treasury was disappointing not to talk even to mention what is their stance on these issues but the majority of people are not paying. Yeah, he makes a good point back in Charlie and Charlie because the transport minister on this program did say that we would get an update after the budget. I suppose it's days, weeks, we'll see, uh, but hopefully not too uh, long to wait to get some idea on where we're going with ETOLS. Thank you so much for that update on Kosato's response to yesterday's budget. That's our senior reporter, Sipa Mandla Gorge.